expert says the voice Shea Mooney uses weaponized flirting. Recently, body language expert Judy James discussed the voice coach Shea Mooney's actions. She expresses his movements indicate power splay. Additionally, saying he is using weaponized flirting in the course of the show interactions. Shea Mooney is trying to be smooth during seasons of The Voice. The coach's positions are often uncertain. In a clip from Tuesday night's Battle Rounds, Shea Mooney is talking to Reba McIntyre, John Legend, and host Carson Daly. Furthermore, mischievously stirring the pot, he says, Reba, I feel like you are so far away. I would love it if you were over here, and John was way down there. But easing the bash, he tells John Legend, you do smell really good. John looks away and chuckles slightly. But Shea continues by admitting he doesn't have a scent and needs to get one. John casually adds to the slightly awkward conversation, you just feel a little sexier. Then Shea comments, it is always good to feel a little sexier. Additionally, Shea pulls Carson into the chatter, you look sexy dude. Judy James analyzes Shea Mooney's body language. While it may seem like awkward but friendly banter between Shea Mooney and the other voice coaches, an expert reveals it isn't. According to Judy James, a body language expert, Shea was exhibiting more than a funny persona. She says, The battle round saw Shea sat with one hand dangling in front of his crotch, further saying, his left arm extended in a directional splay to show power. Then she notes, when he addressed John Legend, he rubbed his hands together similarly. Speaking to Carson, Shea sat back in his chair and raised and lowered his shoulders. And she points out, Shea behaved like a single guy in a nightclub anticipating a lap dance. Additionally, James says, this all might be fun banter for Shea, and he might feel it shows him that he is fearless. However, she sees it otherwise, saying, he avoided direct challenges and thinks he is smart by opting for these soft behavioral techniques, and gives the notion a name. This is all called weaponized flirting, which he did all on his own. Duo of necessity notably, Shea Mooney and Dan Smyers entered the voice as a dynamic duo. However, there is seemingly friction in the pair. According to the U.S. son, Judy James said they indicate strain between them, but Dan uses Shea as a leaning post. But she asserts Shea's actions are a sign he is still unconfident in the environment. Judy says, although Shea has started to perform non-sexual flirting, this new body language will come from a place of fear. Further, she adds, Shea still feels threatened by stronger or higher-ranking people. While not uncommon, she says, it can be a move to lower the others and raise your feelings of power by making them uncomfortable and awkward. She believes he is trying for the latter. Dan Smyers and Shea Mooney were on a break since 2012. The duo, Dan plus Shea, has gained an impressive 10 billion global streams with tracks like Tequila, Speechless, and From the Ground Up. But they broke up for a brief period in 2021. While Dan didn't explain all the details, he alluded to it being difficult performing as a duo with Shea Mooney for nearly a decade. However, he chalks it up to, I think life just happens. But their break was brief, and they were back on by March of 2022, after a four-month silent treatment between performers. Judy James believes it could be frightening to Shea that he was willing to move forward without him. Animals flirt with bigger animals in a display called sexual remotivational technique, James adds. Shea might be trying to keep the other animals from fighting him, so here he is reminding them of sex instead. Rather than cohesiveness, Judy says, he does not behave as a duo with Dan, but more like a young, frightened animal introduced to an existing hierarchy on his own. Judy James deems Reba McIntyre queen bee. While discussing her analysis of Shea Mooney, Judy James believes he is acting out of intimidation. But humans also use non-sexual flirting to demean or diminish competitors. She thinks that is what is happening with Shay and Reba. Now we are seeing Shay take on Reba, James notes. Reba has reacted to his signaling by throwing a smile. But it isn't genuine, according to James. She says, but instead of a congruent, authentic smile that starts with the eyes and extends to the mouth, she appeared to hike the corners of her mouth up. She says that indicates tolerance, not return flirtation. She says Reba McIntyre has built her strength and familiarity by being on the show longer. Discussing Reba, James says, she often sits central and even to the front of their poses, further noting the other coaches with their attention-focused behaviors as they all stand with their eyes in her direction. Then she states, after Gwen left, Reba became the undisputed queen bee. Shay Mooney, one half of the country pop duo Dan plus Shay, 
has recently garnered attention for his unique charm and performance style on NBC's hit show The Voice. While audiences have always known him for his soulful voice and charisma, experts are now pointing out that his success as a coach might have a secret ingredient, weaponized flirting. What exactly is weaponized flirting? According to body language and communication experts, it's a nuanced style of communication where charm, wit, and subtle nonverbal cues are used to engage with others, creating a sense of connection and attraction. It's not about romantic intent or manipulation, but rather building rapport in an almost magnetic way. For Mooney, this strategy has translated into a powerful tool on The Voice, where coaches not only mentor aspiring singers, but also compete for the most talented contestants. Mooney's charm is unmistakable. With his warm smile, down-to-earth demeanor, and ability to connect emotionally with both contestants and the audience, he brings an approachable and likable energy to the show. But beneath that warmth, experts argue, is a well-honed ability to make people feel uniquely special, a technique that resonates with performers looking for validation and encouragement. Dr. Karen Jacobs, a communication specialist, explains, Mooney's style of interaction is what we call weaponized flirting, it's a combination of flattery, attentiveness, and strategic use of body language. He makes you feel like you're the most important person in the room, which is incredibly appealing in a competitive environment like The Voice. Contestants, especially those who might be nervous or unsure of themselves, are naturally drawn to someone who can make them feel special and seen. On The Voice, the goal of each coach is to build a team of singers, and that means persuading contestants to pick them over other highly successful, often more experienced coaches. Mooney, who is relatively new to the show compared to veterans like Blake Shelton or Kelly Clarkson, has had to use more than just his vocal expertise to compete. His weaponized flirting approach helps him stand out. For example, Mooney often leans forward when speaking to contestants, making direct eye contact, and using open body language. This subtle gesture creates a sense of intimacy, making the contestant feel that he's truly invested in them. He also uses humor, often self-deprecating, to break the ice. This tactic not only makes him appear more approachable, but also disarms contestants who might be intimidated by the star power of the coaches. It's a psychological strategy, Dr. Jacobs continues. By making himself appear relatable and likable, Mooney lowers the defenses of the contestants. They're more likely to trust him because he seems genuine, and that's key in a high-pressure environment like a singing competition. What Shay is doing isn't manipulative, it's about creating comfort and trust. In that way, flirting is a way of establishing a bond quickly. Shea Mooney's success with this technique is evident not just in his interactions on The Voice, but also in his career. As part of Dan Plus Shea, he's managed to connect with millions of fans worldwide with their heartfelt lyrics and smooth harmonies. Songs like Tequila and Speechless are rich with emotion, and it's clear that Mooney knows how to convey feeling whether it's through music or conversation. This ability to connect on an emotional level is one of Mooney's greatest strengths. The same qualities that make his music so resonant with listeners, the vulnerability, the sincerity, the warmth, are the qualities that make him an effective coach. And while his flirtatious charm might be one of the tools he uses, it's always paired with genuine, 